So throughout most of your work life and your school life, you're gonna might you, you might discover that you're gonna get stressed every once in a while. You're gonna you're gonna get stressed and you, uh, sometimes you might feel depressed. You might feel anxious about the future. That anxiety and depression might be clinical. It might be something that you need therapy for. It might be something you need to get a extensive professional advice for. Though, from my experience as a teenager, working in middle and high school can cause the depression and anxiety that I think a lot of students can feel in the sense that work can create a lot of stress for, in terms of, for say, how do I say this? Um, standards? Standards that people want you to meet in, your, in the workplace. For example, there needs to be this rubric you need to complete. An assignment needs to be perfect. A te- you need to study for a test and get the best grade on your test possible because if you don't, that's going to affect other areas of your life. And out of this stress, we find more pleasure in doing something that is not work-related that causes the stress. For example, after your schoolwork, you one might find themselves either relaxing, maybe exercising, maybe doing a hobby that they... Um, that they enjoy doing as an extracurricular outside of school um, or, or other activities that just don't involve schoolwork. And that is, it's great. It, it, it's great to have these these things that you do outside of schoolwork, especially that are some that are relaxing uh, because schoolwork can sometimes be a bit stressful and relaxing is it really is a healthy activity that you need to participate in. Though we, we as humans tend to get this mindset where I work to relax. I work, I do this thing that I don't necessarily want to do in order so I can do something that I want to do. And this, <laughs> the school system has, hasn't been super, super nice in, in, in the sense that it's caused children to think this way and it causes children to feel this way. So the way that we can deal with this is understanding what school is actually what, trying to do. School doesn't want to make you stressed. School doesn't want to make schoolwork something that's stressful. It, 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 it wants to make schoolwork a place where children can feel inspired to learn. That is ultimately what school is really about. I mean, it's schools about other things like um, brain development, okay? Um, learning how to think, learning how to study, learning how to how to perform under pressure in tests that comes very on in early age. That sort of that sort of stress in that. It, it and it teaches you material that you can, you know, talk at a dinner table with occasionally if you want to have those kinds of those kinds of talks. And all of these things put together, you begin to realize, oh, okay, school wants to help me instead of trying to provide me with stress so I can deal with stress later in life. This, this, this depression, this anxiety, oh, I'm, I'm super anxious and I'm super worried about an upcoming assignment because I don't understand it, I don't know how to do it, I feel like my teachers don't want me to succeed because they make it so hard, and this, this, entire, this entire system makes me feel like I'm worthless. And that the only thing that I actually want to do is relax and endorse in pleasures outside of school. Pleasures can include social media. It can include, I mean, it can include include things like reading. It can include things like exercising. And those pleasures are a good thing to have. But you have to understand that learning from school and doing that work needs to become something that we see as a pleasure. It's a pleasure to go in and to learn. It's a, it's a pleasure to do this work because I'm learning about something. In this sense, this anxiousness, worried about doing poorly, can instead be found to be, maybe not replaced, but in some cases, yes, substituted with an area of, well, I'm excited. I'm excited to come in and do this work because I'm excited to learn these things that 
are going to be either useful later in life, they're going to make you more interesting. It can really, it, it can really help us. It, it, it's what helped me. Understanding that work is bad and pleasure is good is really self-destructive. Because then when you get older and you have a job and you're going to work, you're going to be finding yourself working to relax if you don't do something that you enjoy, first of all. But also, if the work that you do, you feel like it's just depressing. Then you go home and you say, okay, now I'm not depressed anymore because I'm not at work. That's so self-destructive. And it's twisted that we can be shown this way. And it needs to be fixed. But that fix starts with you. It starts with understanding that there's more to work than stress. There's more to school than work. School is to learn. Work is to learn. Anxiety and depression come from these human-made concepts of I need to work to play. Rather than my work is play or for say, um, I'm excited to work. I'm excited to learn. These are things you need to understand if you want to get over this barrier of this up and down that we can experience. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. It's not, it's not, not, not necessarily a bad thing, but in the long run, it's not going to feel very good <laughs> when you go into work and you feel like, I want to be here. You should walk into school and say, I'm going to do the best that I can in every single thing I do today. Not so that I can relax later, but so that I can just learn. So I can learn. It's quite beautiful, actually, when you take it that way. That's all I gotta say. <laughs>